change of pace, or as to borrow, borrow a phrase from Monty Python, some of you here will remember Monty Python, now for something completely different. The organizers of uh, this event have invited Susan Schwartz, a certified Jungian analyst who also holds a PhD in clinical psychology, uh, for a little bit of an interlude to say a few words uh, before we get to the many, many questions you asked. Uh, so please help me welcome Dr. Susan Schwartz. Thank you very much. You can hear me all right? Yes. I'm, I have a few minutes, so I'm going to toss out briefly a little bit of yogi and psychology, and uh, in, well, you'll hear it. So here's something that Jung has said. I'm going to begin with a quote of his and end with a quote. Convictions and moral values would have no meaning if they were not believed and did not possess exclusive validity. And yet they are man-made and time-conditioned assumptions or explanations, which we know very well are capable of all sorts of modifications, as has happened in the past and will happen again in the future. In other words, inside of our psyche, we carry many different aspects. Some on this side of the coin, some on that side of the coin. The question is, how do we integrate them? How much do we put them out onto somebody else? You can see that in your dreams. You see that in your relationship. You see that in conversation. You can see that in what happens between the East and the West. And what has gone on throughout history. It's happening now counted in the Old Testament, Hagar and Sarah, Jacob and Esau, um, Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, and inside of ourselves, we carry these opposites always. The question is how we're going to work with them. How do we integrate them? How do we use them for our own growth and development? And how do we use them to understand all those things that we put onto other people as wrong or bad or divisive and take those elements inside of ourselves. It's a very difficult process and in Jungian psychology it's called taking back projections. And why it is so difficult is that there is so much emotion that we all have in what we believe, what we stand for, and what we know is right. There's the problem. We know it's correct. And in a sense, it is correct for us, but all of our emotion as well will allow us to push in to try to understand, hopefully, somebody else's position and viewpoint. Because the tricky thing about projection is that whatever it is we are saying belongs to somebody else, somewhere, to some extent, belongs inside of ourselves. The other concept of Jungian psychology that is interesting is what you call the shadow. And this, re this relates to those parts of ourselves which we don't know, which we might ignore, which we don't pay attention to, and which can also be not so great and also marvelous. So it's a question as well, how are we going to find these parts of ourselves that could be lying out in other people, other institutions, other countries, anything that might be opposite or different from ourselves, and how are we going to bring it back to create the fullness of who we are as a person. So there, and one other thing, um, another term, which is not exactly Jungian, but pretty psychological, and that is the word split. I've referred to it in various different ways. Split is what happens. The question is what we do with the split. How do we bring all those pieces of ourselves back together? And it's a similar thing, no matter if we're talking about a person, a country, or our world. How are we going to bring these pieces back together, not in the same way, but in a different way? So because I think I only have a few minutes, I'm going to end with another quote from you. For a moral man, the ethical problem is a passionate question which has its roots in the deepest instinctual processes 
as well as in his most idealistic aspirations. The problem for him is devastatingly real. It is not surprising, therefore, that the answer likewise springs from the depths of his nature. In other words, the answer, answer if there is one, is going to spring from the depths of our own nature and how much we examine ourselves.